Lesson 16, Objective. Solve two step word problems using the standard subtraction algorithm fluently modeled with tape diagrams and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say difference, tape diagram, variable, rounding. Solve a two-step word problem modeled with a tape diagram, assessing reasonableness of the answer using rounding. So first, let's read the question and perform our C-cub. Everyone say C-cub. A company has three locations with 70,010 employees altogether. So this is a key word, so I'm going to go ahead and underline all together. So I know there's 70,010 employees. The first location has 34,857 employees. The second location has 17,595 employees. How many employees work in the third location? So I'm going to box in how many. So I know that the first, or all together, there's 70,010 employees. I know at the first location, there's 34,857. The second location has 17,595. And I need to figure out how many people are in the third location. So let's go ahead and start out with our tape diagram. So we know that our hole goes up top. So we have 70,010 employees. Our first location has 34,857 employees. Our second location has 17,595 employees, and then we need to find C, our third location. So C is going to be our variable for this problem. So then you can see we've labeled everything for our tape diagram, and now we're ready to solve our problem. So, the so first, let's find our sum of the first location and second location. So I'm going to pause the video and use your whiteboards to quickly find the sum. If you got 52,452, you are correct. Now, we know this is our whole and this is our part. So this part plus this part will give us this whole. So I need to subtract 52,452 from 70,010. So I went ahead and set up my problem vertically, lining up my place values. Let's say them together. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Remember, the numbers on top need to be larger than the numbers on bottom in order to subtract. So first, in my ones column, is the top number larger? No. So you have to go next door and take one from my tens. So we unbundle one ten and we turn it into 10 ones, which will give me a 10 above my ones column. Next, we look in our tens column. Are we good with a zero above the five? No, this number is smaller, so we need to go next door, but there is no number next door. So we go next door to there, and there's still no number. So finally, we go to the 10 thousands place, and then we start the unbundling process. So we take one from the 10 thousands, and we unbundle that and turn that into 10 one thousands, which would give me a 10 in my thousands place. And now we know we still need to go all the way over to the tens column, so we're going to take one from the thousands, unbundle that, which will turn that into 10 one hundreds. And then we know we still need to bring it all the way over to the tens column, so we're going to take one from the hundreds column and unbundle that into 10 tens, which will turn that in to a 10. Now all of our top numbers are larger than the bottom numbers, so let's go ahead and subtract. So first start in our ones column, 10 minus 2 will give me a difference of 8. Next we go to our tens column, 10 minus 5 will give me a difference of 5. Next we go to our hundreds column, 9 minus 4 will give me a difference of 5. 
Then we go to our thousands column, 9 minus 2 will give me a difference of 7. And then finally, we do our ten thousands column. 6 minus 5 will give me a difference of 1. So our final difference would be 17,588. So now let's go back and see if we met all our requirements. Do we solve a two-step word problem? Yes. So we can go ahead and check that off because we did solve. Did we model or with a tape diagram? Yes. So we can check that off. Did we assess reasonableness of the answer using rounding? No. So let's do that now. So 70,010 will round to 70,000. And 52,452 will round to 52,000. Now let's go ahead and subtract those two. And we get a difference of 18,000. Is 18,000 close to 17,558? Yes, so we know that we got it correct. Let's look at this next problem. Let's use C cub as we read the question. There were 12,345 people at the concert on Saturday night. On Sunday night, there were 1,795 fewer people at the concert than on Saturday night. How many people attended the concert on both nights? So let's go ahead and figure out our, our start our tape diagram to solve this problem. So we know on Saturday night there were a total of 12,345 people. And then we know on Sunday night there were fewer people. And to be exact, there were 1,795 fewer people. So there we have Sunday night. Now we need to find out the total of people that attended the concert both nights. So here again, this is a two-step word problem. And we're solving for people. How many people attended the concert on both nights? So I would like everyone to go ahead and get out their whiteboards and let's go ahead and set up the first step of the problem. Alright, let's go ahead and check our work. So we can see that we subtracted 1,795 from 12,345 and we got a difference of 10,550. Now we need to take this total from Sunday night and add it to this total from Saturday night to get how many people attended the concert on both nights. So go ahead and pause the video again while everyone solves this on your whiteboards. If you got a final sum of 22,895 people attended the concert on both nights, you got it correct. Thanks for watching the videos today, and remember, always use C-Cub to answer every word problem that you do.